Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is just Brandon here. Um, I haven't made a video in a couple years now. Um, looking to get back into it. Uh, probably just going to do one video this week. Um, I got exams uh, coming up. I got about four exams in the next uh, week and two days. So definitely got uh, a lot of shit going on, but I figured I'd make a video um, talk about uh, Marish short squeeze analysis um, and hopefully get a webcam for the next couple videos and bring on some of uh, some other people uh, to talk about some stocks as well. Um, but let's just get into it. Uh, looking at Mara stock analysis right now, as you can see on the daily chart, I already got some uh, lines in here. This was the big breakout line around $10.15. Uh, very, very heavily shorted stock. It's got about 30% of its shares are sold short. They got about 222 million shares, and I believe about 55 million of them are, short, are sold short, right? So definitely a stock um, that is definitely on my list of potential short squeezes. Uh, as you can see, we are attempting to, to approach new highs. Um, let me just get rid of these uh, black lines here for a second, and we can go over some uh, levels that we're going to look for. Um, right now the big the biggest um i want to say resistance that uh is in the in the tailwinds for us is that nineteen dollars and fifty cent mark um to get up around there that's um our yearly highs and if we just scroll out to the weekly um we've rejected off there um when we tried to do a retest back in um late uh, 2022 um last year about a year three months ago um, and from then we, we've kind of tanked down to three dollars uh, the that's when Bitcoin was at about 15k and, and we looked like we were possibly we're gonna get delisted so um, since then we've rallied very nicely in uh, 2023 um, gotten all the way back up to about $19 um, we had a massive consolidation here and when we saw Bitcoin um, just go up just a bit um, and the shorts got squeezed Bitcoin in this phase really didn't move up much at all. It, it actually moved down from about um, the 6th, um, June 21st, right? Um, so this is important to know that, that this stock can, can be shifted to a, a bull side or a bear side very, very easily. Um, meaning if you're just on the right side of a short squeeze or a short attack, um, you could see some very, very profitable gains and like I like I mentioned in in the weekly we've seen that when, when this stock just wants to rip up it goes and when it wants to rip down it can go from 85 83 dollars to three dollars or back it can go from 35 cents up to 83 dollars and this is a, a Bitcoin mining stock one of my favorite um, it is I believe the biggest largest market cap uh, Bitcoin mining stock I, I really only really pay attention to the three giants which I like to call Mara riot and uh, clean spark clean spark and Mara are, are are my two favorite riot has um is more built for a bear market of bitcoin um meaning like when, when bitcoin's at a cheaper price and, and there's less people profitable for mining it because their energy costs are so low um they're able to 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 strive and one of the actually key uh, problems with mara is that they're a massive diluter so around the 83 dollar mark they had only about 100 million shares and as you can see now they have 222 million so so that's over a hundred percent increase about 120 percent increase um in the stocks which which is absolutely ridiculous and simply they're doing this to um to expand their business model buy more miners and really just uh attempt to keep up uh, with the curve of, of people mining bitcoin however um, this is not good for, for shareholders and they're likely to do this in, in the future because they're trying to hold that they own the most Bitcoin. They have about 14,025 Bitcoin right now, um, which is the most on the market, um, other than like micro strategies, but out of the miners, uh, Merit significantly holds the most. So, so they have the most to gain when, um, Bitcoin goes up and why I like to, um, buy Mara and I, I'm just gonna go over to uh, this is like a little Mara chart to Bitcoin chart I'm gonna just put this back out on the hourly obviously this is just coming off the weekend you saw this massive tank um, late Sunday night um, we've kind of consolidated since then um, but not really much of a recovery right and 
when you scroll out to the daily, th this this was absolutely due. We saw a um, kind of a big break above the 30k mark where we kind of uh, peaked all summer. Um, we quickly got above that 30, 33k point, consolidated. But but we, you can see the you can see the drift up, and, and this is very important because um, this Bitcoin this Bitcoin trend that you're seeing up is is very important because. In January 5th, uh, as you can see here, um, it's only the uh, 11th of December. So in about 25 days, we should uh, hear an announcement from the SEC ab about a Bitcoin ETF approval. Um, obviously, it's not been approved yet. Most Bitcoin bulls are theorizing that it will be approved. And I really don't see how, it, how it's not, um, how it's rejected. Um, and, and even if it is rejected, how it doesn't get reappealed. Um, you have big funds that want to be buying this and I don't need to make the full bull case for, for Bitcoin uh, you guys all know uh, what that bull case is if you have a bear case or whatnot um, probably just stay out of this equity because this is a highly volatile equity um, and and definitely like uh, size yourself accordingly to to this risk um, but as you can see that this this trend line from the breakout has held up extremely nicely and, and right here we were kind of just going parabolic and, and sure we increased like 10 20 percent on Mara but it, it wasn't that type of parabolic push that we wanted um, we've came back down um, and we're kind of sitting in at this 40k mark um, if you scroll out to the weekly um, we could draw some Fibonacci's um, but I just know from memory that that the Fibonacci's kind of hold around the forty four thousand five hundred dollar mark which is where we rejected at and we got support at forty thousand five hundred so there's this forty th this four thousand dollar range of Bitcoin that we're kind of trading in over the past two weeks um, and it'll be very interesting what I likely uh, think will happen um, over the next one maybe two weeks is I, is I see a, a slight trend up um, consolidation um, before our next leg up. I, I see it coming back to about 44k um, by week's end, um, if not next week. But but I don't see that push until maybe Christmas time uh, to to really get uh, that next move up to that 45k mark uh, pre-approval on uh, the spot ETFs and the BlackRock ETFs. Um, but I want to dive deeper in, into strictly just this uh, mare analysis. Because obviously the, the the trend, the weekly trend, Bitcoin 69k down to 15k, and now we're back up at 44k. The the trend is up. Um, you almost look at it as an inverse head and shoulders. You got the shoulder, you got the head, um, and you're looking to make that next shoulder and break out above 69k. Um, but I'll, when we go dive deep in, into this Mara stock analysis, you can see that the RSI is not even overbought um, and when you have prolonged times of Mara stretches you you can see this this get up to 38 um, or sorry but we could see this get up to $38 a share um, what I mean to say is we could see this RSI uh, stay above this 70 mark um, probably even 80 um, 80 on the RSI and, and that can that can trend for at least a couple weeks um, it's very nice that, that we're getting the, this pullback um, Bitcoin it's down about five percent over the weekend because um, it closed out about forty four thousand five hundred and now it's at about forty two thousand um, so saying that we're only down eight percent on on something that has just gone up you have a week of four percent fourteen percent twenty percent twenty two and a half percent um, so so an eight eight point five percent pullback is is reasonable uh, what we want to see here um, on the one minute it is we d we don't want to see this this trend down Th this this consolidation here at the lows is very nice um, as long as Bitcoin can hold I, I expect to see see the trend up um, I expect as if Bitcoin were to remain relatively flat I, I expect to see merit to be bought back up into this 1570 f range um, which is where we had a lot of a lot of fight around here. This is where we opened at in this 1570 range, only 40 cents off. Um, but but we are shaping up for a potentially very 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 nice candle. Um, as you can see, we just hit off the uh, lower Bollinger Band on the hourly, and w if we can close with like 
a green candle on the daily obviously this is just in the first hour of trading um, that I'm making this video we're about 55 minutes into the day um, if this red candle can, can continue green that this uptrend and this this trend of green is, is extremely nice uh, because right now we're, we're sitting at a very awkward support line we broke out that 1370 mark in gap um, where we attempted to fill the gap on open last week Monday um, was a massive massive breakthrough point and you have to understand that with a stock as volatile as Mara and as heavily shorted as, as Mara is um, when you get trends to the up of Bitcoin the Mara usually um, if it's a prolonged trend will outpace that trend and, and not only outpace it but usually trade at like a four to six times multiple of what Bitcoin is moving which which is why it's a heavily shorted and heavily uh, bought stock and people are in it for the long run right but um, the reason it moves so heavily is you look at like just the volume you have 22 million shares but 50 million are getting traded each day whereas when uh, we go back to like this um, let's go back to like this hourly chart on Bitcoin when we tanked um, Bitcoin had about 400 million dollars of liquidations in just a few minutes right um, a lot of longs got uh, liquidated their leverage longs is what they call it so they're basically forced to sell out of their position if uh, the position is, is starts going in, uh, in the opposite direction and the same thing happens uh, when they're uh, short and they get liquidated out of the short position it just spikes up extremely rapidly because it's a forced sale um, because it's leverage right so it's not like hey look you have two hours to cover your margin it's no we're covering your margin now you lost um, and and that that that's the risk that's why it's when you can leverage something as heavily um, as Bitcoin that's as volatile as Bitcoin you can see these extreme trends of, of up and down behavior and so what the key thing to look at here is we got we got this downtrend we, we kind of got this this, this sell-off the long liquidation now this this is a, a, a 800 billion dollar market cap um, commodity and not even 800 million dollars were liquidated so so you don't even have one percent uh, of the market cap of this getting liquidated not even close um, yet you can move it five six percent right um, and, and that's just because there is such little supply on the market of Bitcoin um, that, that people buying and people selling and can, can move it so, so drastically because most of the people who own Bitcoin are just holding Bitcoin. That, that's where the, the large volume is, right? Um, whereas in Mara, these are, these are shares. People are trading these very, very heavily. Um, so you, the, the proportion of how much volume is getting traded per day versus the, the overall market cap is is far greater and that's why you see these far greater swings um, just looking at, at the price behavior daily um, it, it likes to stay with the trend of Bitcoin as you can see moves down moves up moves down moves up and this is just over the gap over the weekend um, but a key point here is, is this $15 mark is going to be crucial to hold on the week um, I'm sure there's a lot of longs that, that got liquidated they bought over the weekend and you're just immediately down 10% right um, and if Mare is not the type of stock that you're willing to, to take a big loss on um, or hold through big losses you're gonna get worried about five ten percent do not touch this stock it is not the stock for you th th this this is gonna have 20% up days in the coming future um, and if you're shorting it you're gonna get killed and if you're buying it you're gonna have to deal with these 10 20 percent down days uh, it's just what happens when you, when you buy a very volatile leveraged stock so what the the real short squeeze analysis is is like I said there's 30 um, or 50 million shares 55 million shares shorted it's a 220 million share company there is massive shorts and, and as you can see the, these shorts were holding when Bitcoin was was moving on this uptrend Th this gapped up here when it gapped up on the 22nd as you can see 22nd this was 24th because it was gapped up over the weekend um, and you you can see that this this bullish um, trend on Bitcoin and it was moving up and we were moving down 
and this is strictly shorts attempting to keep the price below this 10.15, which was our, our breakout point. This is when the moving average is crossed. This is when the buyer stepped in and the seller stepped out. And that doesn't mean that the shorts really cover their position. Um, some of them may have, but, but it is still just as heavily shorted up here as it was down here. It's just the direction of the trend. Bitcoin has moved up, so this has moved up with it, right? And I can guarantee you that there is a lot, a lot of people hopping on. Like, this is a very bearish candle. Don't get me wrong. This looks terrible um, on the daily. Uh, definitely looks like you could see a trend down. Um, but the thing is, is there's a lot of buyers up here. And you saw that the shorts attempted to, to get this below 1480. And they really couldn't. They, even today, uh, we'll see how it ends. It's early and it's early into the week. But, but the shorts tried to get this below 1490 and 1490 is not even really the support. The support's more at 1470 and, and they couldn't. And this is on a 4% down day. We haven't seen a 4% down day on, on Mara in a long time, but we've seen many 10% down days um, previously. So, so th this is, I'd like to say very good. And if we can see maybe Bitcoin uh, throughout the rest of the day and throughout the rest of the week kind of make a climb back up, like if we can see that this, this trend line of from the breakout um, holds up with these with these trends we can see that we can see this move back up uh, throughout the week and I wouldn't mind seeing it try and close this this sixteen dollars stay above sixteen dollars because above sixteen we're extremely bullish um, above sixteen we're, we're looking to head back into this this new highs range and when we're hitting new highs we really our, our target price is nineteen dollars and uh, fifty cents so um, that's really what I'm looking for. I, I don't get worried um, when it goes massively up or massively down. Um, just just because I'm in it for the long run. Um, so when you make a trade or any trade, you gotta really have a plan on on how you term to execute this. I was buying massively down here. Um, this was the buy zone. This was the accumulation zone for longs. Um, up here, you, you're really looking for 50k out of Bitcoin if, if you're looking for like uh, an accumulation. But this is this is just mainly traders um, coming in, and this stock has has ballooned. It's 200 percented from the or yeah, it's had a hundred percent gain from its lows of seven six over that. It, and so there's a lot of people who are sit who are sitting on profits, um, and they've sold right uh, they're out the people who have taken profits and this is just getting ready for the for the next leg up um, in the stock market and like I said th this is the type of stock that I've as we've seen in the past you can have a hundred and fifty percent week you can have these 20 percent days where when Bitcoin is going parabolic this just runs and we're, we're definitely going to be there. This, this is not this. This looks exactly like what happened back in 2021, early 2021. You see these big moves up, big can big green candles. You see a couple of selling because it gets overbought. But the news is coming in. There's, there's so much conviction in crypto, in the crypto space over the next year, year, two years that we're going to see. Um, so. The, the potential for, for not only marriages to accumulate because of their overall price, because they own so much Bitcoin, um, because of their value is extremely high. And I definitely see their fair value getting to about $30, $35 range, especially if Bitcoin is at $69,000, $70,000. Um, and that, that's when the FOMO kicks in. And that, that's when everyone just starts piling on stocks like these, these Bitcoin miners. Um, and when, when you have one of the heavily shorted stocks in, in the stock market you sh and you have a bunch of people panic buying, it, it gets really it gets really dirty. And what happens is people pile on the shorts because this company, if this company starts short squeezing, gets up around 35, 45 bucks and Bitcoin's really only hovering around 55K, it, it's, it becomes a trade and, and less of a value buy. Around here, I still believe it's a value buy based on Bitcoin um, and based on the share price. Um, it's definitely below its uh, its real market value, um, what I believe it to be, um, trading at about a five price to sales, um, and where they get to keep most of their Bitcoin. And so, we're gonna see. We're gonna give it an analysis. We'll see how it does this week. This is early in the week. We're down 
9.6% on the week. Terrible to start, uh, but definitely warranted, right? So we're gonna see what this what this can do. Um, I really expect this to bounce off this kind of this breakout trend line and and continue that this in this movement up on the daily. Um, and I, I'd be very interested to see that if we get back above this this 16. 80 mark 17 dollar mark and bitcoin can keep this uptrend uh stay above this uh this 20 ema uh we might be able to see this this touch 17 um even up towards 19 dollars and not just this week but in the next week in the next two weeks so keep an eye on this this is a definitely a very uh, volatile stock um and i will be doing more stock analysis and showing you my positions and trades in the future i just I wanted to get a video out there um, because I feel like this is a day where most people are panicking. Most people are, holy fuck, I bought at 1780 before close thinking Bitcoin was going to gap up and I'm down 10%. Um, lots of shorts just coming in, heavily attacking the stock. Bitcoin is not making any price moves and the market is, is pretty flat. We got CPI, PPI, and jobless claims Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. Um, so we will see um, what what happens with uh, Maristock and Bitcoin. Um, definitely going to be some movement in the market and in Bitcoin this week. Um, but if if this Mara can stay above this trend, keep this little uptrend, we saw it quickly break under this this blue line I just drew. Um, but we got back above, and we're holding above. If we can just slowly slowly trend up, um, it'll be very very good for uh, Mara and very good uh, for the uh, potential short squeeze that I'm looking for um, if, if shorts are, are piling on here it, it doesn't affect me I'm up a hundred percent on my stock right now um, and even if you're just buying right now you, you have a very very good bull case that the stock short squeezes so anyways guys um, I'm gonna let you go this is uh, being a 22 minute video um, and we will catch you in the next one